Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lee Mission Yannigans of 1977. It's Thursday night, and you know what that means. It's time for your TNA Event Center Wrestling Report. And now here's the man to give you that report, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lee Mission Yannigans 1977, episode 1748 of the show. How's it going, everybody? We're going to talk about what just happened on TNA. <clears throat> Impact, that's right, and um, there were two pick your poison matchups. The first one was PCO versus Rhino, trying to get the two friends to go against each other, but in the heck of a matchup. And um, PCO ended up picking up the victory there. GM Miller interviewed uh, Mc ne Nick Nemeth, and Nick Nemeth says he's pretty excited and he respects Joe Hendry, and he hopes to look forward to a great matchup against the prestigious one. See what happens there. Ariana Grace came out to address the Nashville crowd, saying that she's got one of her best friends in NXT to um, to go up against and go in his next match. Brindley Reese makes her TNA debut, and George Iceman interrupts Grace, introduces Ash by Elegance. They had a matchup, and Ash wins the match despite the fact that her makeup was, you know, not well done. By Mr. Um, George Iceman. Excuse me for just a second here. I think I should put the uh, my bathrobe away. Give me a second here. Ah, there it is. <clears throat> ah. so. Whoops, it easy. Ah, you know what? Give me a second here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna jump this and. Sorry about that, folks. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I don't want to strain my voice too much. Anyways, so so there's that. Um, so George Iceman was um, addressing the Nashville crowd after the matchup, and Ash decided to attack Burnley Reese. Sia Brookside chases um, Ash off. He says like Rosemary and Wendy Chu have joined uh, some kind of alliance. It's the first time. Somebody from NXT and TNA join up forces, and there's stalking um, Jody Threat of Spitfire. As you know, Jody Threat and Dana Luna are the TNA Knockouts Tag Team Champions. Exhibition on the, tie, on the line. Exhibition title on the line. Speedball Mike Bailey defending against Leon Slater. And uh, this was a heck of a matchup. And <clears throat> it could have gone either way, but Speedball Mike Bailey, with the edge and experience, ends up winning the championship. But, come to find out, he wants to issue a challenge to anybody for the title at TNA, uh, at Bound for Glory. And he's got his challenger, El Hijo del Vikingo, will be challenging Speedball Mike Bailey for the um, X Division title at Bound for Glory. Now, ABC and the Hardys um, addressing the system, what happened, they had a great matchup. And they showed, us, showed each other respect, complimenting each other. And Matt Hardy said this could be our last full metal mayhem matchup in us. So we got up it's very important for us to win the belts and all that. <clears throat> so, you know, because they've been doing it for three, th 33 years. That's a long time. Got to be impressed with that. Um, <clears throat> Steve Macklin comes out to address what happened to him and he calls out Josh Alexander. And Alexander and the Northern Armory Center of St. Jewish Icarus and um, Travis Williams came out, responded to Macklin. They attacked him, handcuffing him, and attacked him a little bit more. And Santino Morella and Ariana Grace, Santino was uh, educating Ariana Grace about the um, Call Your Shot Gauntlet match until Frankie Kazarian interrupted them, insulted Ariana Grace, and <clears throat> he said, I'll find my way in, in this title match. Don't know how. But I'll find a way. Uh, Mike Santana and Brian Myers supposed to have a match, no contest because um, Johnny Dango Curtis and Eddie Edwards got involved, and then he decided to call out Moose. Moose wasn't sure because since you're not going to be a man, I'll come find you. He goes backstage, 
And he says, well, yeah, Moose, Moose blindsides him from behind. So, uh, Matthew Raywall interviewed Jordan Grace and Masa Slamovich. And <clears throat> the two talking about the, ex, uh, the, the knockouts championship. And, uh, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and after the interview was over, Slamovich basically walks out. So, this will be a tense moment for the knockouts championship match at Bound for Glory. Frankie Kazarian joins Tom Hennepin on commentary for the main event match. The pick and point of the match. Old rivalry renewed, but this time around in TNA. Nick Nemeth against Mike Corridona. Back then, they were known as Dolph Ziggler and Zack Ryder in the WWE. Security was there to make sure that PCO does not um, show, show up in the text. And uh, PCO did arrive during the matchup. Knocks out the security and uh, giving Nike, Nike, um, Nick Nemeth the victory over Matt Cardona. And then PCO decided to grab Cardona after getting knocked out by the Danger Zone. Carries him out of the arena after the matchup. And Kazarian did attack Nemeth after the matchup. And then Joe Hendry comes to Nick Nemeth's aid. Both fight off Kazarian. And then Kazarian starts getting upset with the Nashville crowd saying, you guys are happy. You guys need to attack me. Well, I have an idea. I'm um, named the special referee for the title match. I don't think we should trust Frankie Kazarian at all. You end up pulling an Angel Hernandez or a Nick Patrick or something like that, man. Because I'll tell you one thing. Joe Hendry and Nick Nemeth better mind their P's and Q's in this matchup. <clears throat> so, uh... <clears throat> so, hey, that's the way it is, man, you know. Um, <clears throat> I got to tell you, you know, TNA starting to step it up a little bit, you know, with the um, interaction with NXT. It'll be very interesting to see how this develops. And, um, you know, a lot has gone down, and we will uh, find out um, what will happen as Bound for Glory gets near. Bound for Glory and Halloween Havoc next weekend, folks. So we're talking back-to-back -back dates, you know. So you got that. Um, <clears throat> uh, before we go, I thought I lost the Flash Game Shows. Guess what? They're back. Um, I got the Flash Game Shows back. They're ready to go. And that means tomorrow we'll continue on with Bullseye. You know, with Bullseye tomorrow... And you're probably saying, why well, be you should get a arcade? I will get that straightened out. I'm, I'm trying to find some ideas of how to go about it. And um, we shall see what develops <clears throat> in the meantime. So I'm still trying to figure everything out. Um, I had, you know, life has took over so much. The fact that I couldn't be able to game that much anymore. But I do play my video games off camera. Whenever I can, just uh, <clears throat> I know next um, next month we're gonna have the um, um, Marvel Capcom Fine Collection physical copy coming out in November, and let's see, just coming Tuesday, Deadpool and Wolverine coming out on DVD. I'm gonna try and get that, and I don't know when the uh, Transformers one in DVD. Saw two movies this year. I think I think I just saw two movies. Within a span of three months. And that would be August. Back in August a couple of months ago. I saw Deadpool Wolverine. And a couple of weeks ago. I saw Transformers 1. Really excited. Don't know where to go from here. <clears throat> and. Uh, and. You know. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know. We'll see what develops and uh, all that good stuff. Well, I got to go. And uh, I got to get some sleep and everything else. And wake up for another day tomorrow. It'll be great. And um, we'll see what um, we'll see what develops um, during that time. You know. Trying to get some sleep. You know. I had to be clean shaven so I can look good. And um, we shall see. What develops between now and then. So, um, thank you for tuning in to the show. 
And like, like I said, tomorrow we got Bullseye. We got SmackDown, AEW Rampage. Like I said, I'm moving NXT level up to Tuesdays from here on in. So, that'll be great. So, until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, Dwarf of Bob Saget Productions, and in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.